Why selling used products from Amazon or any other supplier is a horrible idea and why I saw so many stores, maybe hundreds of stores, who came to me, showed me their stores and the situation there was terrible. In this video I will show you how to avoid the problematic situations and why you really shouldn't do this, even you shouldn't try. Hello everybody, so in this video I will talk with you about three reasons why it's terrible, horrible idea to work with used products from Amazon or any other supplier. So let's see. First of all, what is used products from Amazon from, from Amazon's warehouse and who work these products and why? So first of all, let's if I write here Amazon warehouse in the top, I will go to the category of Amazon warehouses. And there I will see many different products. So let's take any of these products. For example, this one. Click on, uh, okay, I see that this product is not available. Let's go to any other product. Also not available. Let's say this one. Okay, this one is available from the sellers. So I will open this product. And let's see. Amazon Warehouse is a way to sell products from Amazon which are used. Many sellers are trying to do this. First, they are very happy because the prices are cheaper in 20% than the regular prices. And after one or two months, they come to me and say, Lior, listen, I cannot sell anymore and my traffic goes down. Or, Lior, please close my Autodesk account because my account was blocked because of MC011. And then we start to check what happened to their store. And this is what happens. So first of all, yes, it looks really cool because the product's price is maybe 180. Here you can find it for 108, which is really cheap. Used very good or used like new. Very different uh, statuses. But what happens? The first problem with selling these products. You never know how the product will arrive to your customer. Maybe you can go and check manually or ask the seller what happened, but on eBay you sell something as new, but maybe here it's not really as new, because you know, everybody sees the, these things in different ways. Maybe for me, a bit scratch in the top of the product can be a not really big deal, but for someone else it's a really huge problem because they want it to be perfect. So the eBay's buyer will try to save money. They will buy it from you for cheaper price. Yes, you will get more sales, but what will happen later? So the first problem is, as I said, the buyer can be not happy with the product that they got and you will get a negative feedback because the difference between how Amazon or the seller says the product is, maybe they say that it's a minor problem, but a minor problem, but uh, the buyer will think that it's something bigger. And the second thing here that I can say is that this system of Amazon is not perfect. Amazon uses robots. These robots get the product from the seller and uh, then they put it as Amazon warehouse. How the products arrive here? The products arrive here because, for example, Amazon sends it to someone, then the uh, the buyer returned the product to Amazon, Amazon robots checked it, says that the product is okay, and then they will sell it here. But the robots are, aren't perfect. So sometimes what you see here will arrive in the buyer in a completely different uh, situation, in a completely different status than what you see here. Why? Because Amazon was tricked by the seller or it was just a mistake of the robots. And the third thing here, and this is the main reason for accounts uh, being blocked for MC011 and for uh, traffic reduced to eBay's uh, dropshippers or sellers. What happens is that this type of selling increases your amount of returns, the percent of your returns by a lot of percent because this is used product and what you, shows, uh, what you show and what the buyer receives is completely different. So a lot of buyer will use, buyers will use the 30 days returns that they, they have from you. They will check the product and return it to you. Your returns 
percent will inc will be increased completely by more than 200 percent and then your store will go down and after one or two months of working using this strategy you will see that instead of your sales going up it will just be it will just decrease and maybe your store even uh, crash completely i hope that this video explained you why i really say that you should not touch this type of strategy or this type of products in the past i tried it for a five of our 35 different stores that we opened because we thought to release this feature not a yes what we saw that happened to these stores stopped us completely from uh, releasing this feature because we saw that it would just hurt our uh, AutoDS members and the AutoDS members are the first priority of AutoDS so even if someone requests a feature we will first check it on our stores and if it doesn't work or it can hurt the store or make a damage we will not release it so uh, I really uh, hope that you like this video don't forget to subscribe for our YouTube channel and to ask me in the comments under this video everything that you want to know about e-commerce, dropshipping or how to sell better. Also, write down in the comments the questions that you want me to answer in the next videos so I can prepare videos specifically for you and answer all of your questions. Subscribe to our YouTube channel right now, like this video, share this video. See you in the next videos. Bye bye.